Hello, a warm welcome, and this is the scene here in North London. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting next to me with his tactics charts at the ready is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It is Tottenham Hotspur, and they take on Southampton. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Well, we're focusing on a player who just seems to get better and better and better, Hume Min Son. Stuart, what sort of performance might he produce? Well, Derek, I thought he was brilliant last time out. He scored a couple of goals, but it was his general play as well that was excellent. Coming short to receive the ball, making runs in behind defenders. He was outstanding, and I'm sure we're going to see more of the same today. Have a great game. Thanks. Good game. Thanks. Cheers. Good luck. Hey. Good luck. Good game out there. Good luck. Cheers. Hey. Thanks. Hey. Good game. Good game. Introducing the Spurs starting 11. Well, I like the look of their front three today. It has a combination of pace, skill, and intelligence. But will they get enough of the ball? Because their midfield could be overrun here. And here's how the lineup looks for Southampton. James Ward Prowse starts with Oriol Romeo in the centre of midfield. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. And this confrontation is underway. Great challenge, he got nothing but ball. Harry Kane. Now Son. And space to cross it. And just failed to keep the ball in play that time. Well, you've got to savour such moments. Now he must favour the cross. And winning it back. Che Adams. Ward-Prowse. Well, they keep working away, looking for passing lanes. Harry Kane. Son. A super tackle and they've won possession. Oh, skipping away. Good defending in the end, and danger averted for now. Kulusevski. Che Adams. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? A really vital interception. Son. Javier. Harry Kane losing out in that little battle. Elianusi. Oriol Romeu. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Che Adams. And teammates to play it to. Will this corner bear fruit for them? <laughs> Trying.
trying to deliver it accurately. Oh, it's a goal! And certainly a deflection off the defender into the back of the net. Well, here's the replay, and there's an obvious deflection. Certainly enough to beat the keeper. He got a bit lucky there. Can Spurs come up with an answer? Romero. Eric Dyer. Javier. And Spurs moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? And a tidy challenge. Well, it's been difficult for Southampton to get too much of the ball, but their attacking play has been really incisive. It's been a really good display from them so far. Mohamed Sanisu. The ball with James Ward-Prowse. And unable to keep possession. Harry Kane. The cross is on. Kane, and will it be the leveller? Bentancourt, really vital interception here. And they do like to press whenever they can. So one minute of stoppage time, that's what the officials have said. Jay Adams. No more time left. That is it for the first half here at the home of Tottenham. Well, not a game so far at any rate. Harry Kane is going to remember fondly. Hasn't really been able to make his mark, Stuart. Well, it's not been one of his best displays, Derek, has it? He really hasn't been able to affect the game here. Unless he starts getting on the ball, they're going to struggle to get back into this one. So back underway, with Tottenham looking to find an effective route back into this match. Elianusi. Che Adams. Well, possibilities in the centre. Losing possession here. Sessegnon he's using his strength to good effect and the cross is very much on Son and a promising looking attack but comes to nothing in the end Romeu, the ball with James Ward-Prowse. Oriol Romeu. And can they prize them open now? El Yunusi. Well, he went strongly in for the challenge, and the result is a throw-in. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes, and now both sides will make personnel switches. Cut again from the flank. Emerson. Now Harry Kane. Javier. 
Lucas. Bentancourt. Son. Moving the ball nicely. Trying to carve out the equaliser. Fabier. This could square the game. But the keeper has his say. And how important could that be in the grand scheme of things? Well, that was a big chance. And really, he should have taken that. But let's give credit to the goalkeeper. It's a decent save. Who can they pick out? Struggling to get it away. Kane. A terrific defending to stop them progressing. Oriol Romeu. Ward Prowse. Armstrong. Just knocking it around, looking to carve out a chance. Romeo. Ward Prowse. And there it is, the goal they wanted for security. They lead by two now. They can breathe that bit more easily. Well, here's the replay, and in many ways, it doesn't do justice to how patient they were in the build-up. Just so composed, waiting for the right moment. And the finish is clinical. It just makes it look so easy, doesn't it? And a change for Spurs at this juncture. So 2-0 now. Eric Dyer. Ten minutes to go then. To be replaced by number eight, Harry Winks. Winks. And Hoybier with it. Eric Dyer. Harry Winks now. Lucas Kane and space for the cross Fabier Son can he get one back well fantastic reflex action from the goalkeeper Romeu the ball with James Ward Prowse. So two minutes to be added on at the end. Oriol Romeu. Getting in there to intercept. So the final whistle has sounded and not the result Tottenham fans were hoping for. What did you make of it all? Well, Derek, they weren't at their best today, both as individuals and as a team. And they didn't deserve anything from the game. Need a much better display next time out. And I think it's fair to say he'll be happy with his own contribution in this game, Stuart. Yeah, not much more you could ask for, really. Plenty of effort, a goal, and most importantly, the right result. He should be happy with today.